క్యాబినెట్ లో ఏమన్నా జయలి అమ్మను వాళ్ళు ఏమైనా ఆహ్వానించారు అమిత్ షా కలిసారా నెక్స్ట్ సెకండ్ ఇంకా కేసీఆర్ కలిసారు కదా ఏ ఇష్యూస్ డిస్కషన్ వచ్చాయి కేసీఆర్ కేసీఆర్ చెప్పమంటారా అమిత్ షా గారు కేసీఆర్ గారు కేసీఆర్ గారి గారు కూడా మర్యాద కోరుకున్నా కలిసి రెండు రాష్ట్రాల మధ్య మొట్టమొదటిసారిగా ఒక స్నేహ సంబంధాలు ఉన్నాయి రాష్ట్రానికి సంబంధించిన అన్ని అంశాలను సార్ట్అవుట్ చేసుకోవాలి అని అంటే ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దట్ తెలుగు రాష్ట్రాలతో సత్సంబంధాలు ఉండడం మరీ ముఖ్యంగా తెలంగాణ రాష్ట్రాలతో సత్సంబంధాలు ఉండడం అందులో కేసీఆర్ గారు ఒక అడుగు ముందుకు వేస్తూ తన స్నేహాన్ని ఒక అడుగు అందరూ కూడా గుర్తు పెట్టుకునే రీతిగా చాలా గొప్పగా మంచి మనసుతో నాలుగు అడుగులు ముందుకేసి ఆయన ప్రత్యేక హోదా అన్న అంశం మీద కూడా నేను మీకు సంపూర్ణంగా మద్దతుగా నిలబడతాను పార్లమెంటులో ఉన్న ఎంపీలందరూ కూడా మీకు తోడుగా అందరూ చదవడం నేను మీకు సహాయ సహకారాలు అందిస్తాను అని చెప్పి మనస్ఫూర్తిగా పెద్ద చెప్పాడు మనస్ఫూర్తిగా కేసీఆర్ గారు చెప్పాడు ఆ నేపథ్యంలో ఇట్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ మనము కేసీఆర్ గారు తెలంగాణ చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ గారు ఆంధ్ర రాష్ట్ర ముఖ్యమంత్రి ఇద్దరూ కూడా తెలుగు మాట్లాడే వాళ్ళమే ఒకే భాష మాట్లాడే వాళ్ళమే అంతా కలిసికట్టుగా ఒకే లైన్ మీదకి వచ్చి ఒకరికొకరు సహాయం చేసుకునే విషయంలో ఇద్దరం కలిసికట్టుగా ఉండాల్సిన అవసరం చాలా ఉంది అప్పుడే మన బలం ఇవాళ మా బలం ఇరవై రెండు చంద్రబాబు నాయుడు సహకరించిన సహకరించకపోయినా దేవుడు దయతో ఇరవై ఐదు ఇరవై రెండు మన దగ్గర బలం ఉంది ఇవి కాక కేసీఆర్ గారి బలం తొమ్మిది ఇవి కూడా ఖచ్చితంగా మనకు అన్ని రకాలుగా సహాయం చేసే బలమే కాబట్టి ముప్పై ఒక్క మంది ఎమ్మెల్యేలు అయితే ఖచ్చితంగా ముప్పై ఒక్క మంది ఎంపీలు అయితే ఖచ్చితంగా ఒకరి రాష్ట్ర ఒకరి కోసం ఒకరు నిలబడే పరిస్థితిలో తోడుగా నిలబడేందుకు ముందుకు వస్తాం అన్న పరిస్థితి అయితే ఖచ్చితంగా అనిపిస్తూ ఉంది గోల్డ్ మెంబర్ టు బీ టుగెదర్ ఓకే అమిత్ షా అమిత్ షా గారు రెండు వేల యాభై అమిత్ షా గారు కూడా మర్యాద పూర్వకంగానే అమిత్ షా కూడా కలవడం జరిగింది ఇంకా మొత్తం వాళ్ళే ప్రభుత్వం ఆయన్ని బీజేపీ అధ్యక్షుడు సో ప్రాబబ్లీ సెకండ్ మోస్ట్ పవర్ఫుల్ పర్సన్ ఇన్ దిస్ కంట్రీ ఎవరైనా ఉన్నారంటే బహుశా అమిత్ షా గారేమో నేను అనుకుంటా ఉన్నా బహుశా నువ్వు వేరే వేరే అభిప్రాయం మీద మీరు ఏదైనా చెప్తే తప్ప కాబట్టి రాష్ట్రానికి సంబంధించిన అవసరాలు రాష్ట్రానికి సంబంధించిన సమస్యల మీద నెంబర్ వన్ పర్సన్ కలిసి ఆ తర్వాత మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ మోస్ట్ పవర్ఫుల్ పీపుల్ రెండో మంచిని కూడా కలిస్తే ఇంకా రాష్ట్రానికి సంబంధించిన కాస్ ఇంకా అంత బలపడే బలపడే కార్యక్రమం జరుగుతుంది అనే ఉద్దేశంతో మర్యాద పూర్వకంగా ద మోస్ట్ పవర్ఫుల్ పర్సన్స్ లో నెంబర్ టూ కూడా కలవడం జరిగింది దట్ ఇస్ అమిత్ షా రావడానికి కారణం ఆర్థిక పరమైన సమస్యలు మాకు ఉన్నాయి మీ సహాయ సహకారాలు మాకు కావాలి అని చెప్పి అర్థించడం కోసమే ఇవాళ ఇక్కడికి ఢిల్లీకి రావడం ఆయన ప్రధానమంత్రి గారు మన ముఖ్యమంత్రి మన ఆంధ్ర రాష్ట్రానికి మనం ఉండాం మన మాట చెప్పాం ఆ మాటలన్నీ కూడా నెరవేర్చాల్సిన బాధ్యత నాపై ఉంది కాబట్టి ఎటువంటి ఛాన్స్ కూడా తీసుకోదలుచుకోలేదు దేవుడు ఆశీస్సులతో ఖచ్చితంగా ప్రజలకు ఏదైతే నేను చెప్పానో అవన్నీ ఖచ్చితంగా కూడా చేసుకుంటూ పోతాను మీరంతా మీరు చూస్తారు రాబోయే రోజుల్లో అన్నింటి మీద ఏమేం చేయాలో ఎప్పుడెప్పుడు ఏమేం చేయాలో అన్ని కూడా చేసుకుంటూ పోతాను రాష్ట్రానికి సంబంధించిన పరిస్థితుల మీద ఖచ్చితంగా వైట్ పేపర్లు రిలీజ్ చేయాల్సిన అవసరం ఉంది అది ప్రమాణ స్వీకారం జరిగిన తర్వాత డిపార్ట్మెంట్ వైస్ రివ్యూ తీసుకుంటూ ఆ రివ్యూల ఆధారంగా we will go ahead and start releasing white papers so that andarasa prajala kuda anusthri emiti ana sangati kuda teliyaas avasaram undi kashtanga teliye cheppal avasaram kuda maamide what is the fate of amravati 
So the uh, basically it's a cash twenty two situation. We would have to look into the scams there. So generally, there are no way of scamming there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, everybody in Andhra Pradesh is aware of. Hala, the chota capital was that one day, and the Sangathi, Chandrama Bhai, there is a mundey case. That is, male or that is male or private to much in the. డిసెంబర్ ఇరవై ఎనిమిదిలో ఎప్పుడు అలా చోట రాజధాని వస్తా ఉంది అని చెప్పి డిక్లేర్ చేయడం జరిగింది ఈ మధ్య కాలంలో రాజధాని ఇక్కడ రావడం లేదు అక్కడ ఎక్కడో వస్తా ఉంది అని చెప్పి ఈ మిస్లేడ్ పీపుల్ కానీ తాను తన బినామీలు హీ అండ్ దిస్ బినామీస్ ఈ ప్రాంతంలో తక్కువ రేటుకు రైతుల దగ్గర నుంచి భూములు కొనుగోలు చేశారు దిస్ ఇస్ ఇన్సైడ్ ద ట్రేడ్ breach of all the secrets mamulga i have read in some newspapers that insider trading and they you you can go to prison this is also something like that he himself heritage company made this by him that he bought forty meters of land directly on heritage itself on his own company see then his banana is bought vast extents of land all around and then it just didn't the scam did scam just did not stop there there was a land pooling when he forced people to give up land our land while he forced them to give up land thana bina milu thana land no exam chestu patam vetnu meeta bhumi balavadana chestunna kaalithana chesi theesukunna tarvata ee bhumulu kuda he started giving he started Giving the giving the, those lands to people at whatever rates he wants, to whomsoever he wants. And the year rate, but the rate too, that is much in the rate too, that is still much in the rate too, is still much in the is still much in the value. So, so even the even the it's not a marble scam, guys. This sir, it's going to be a it's, it's going to be a sensational scam. <laughs> See one thing I can tell you, I have nothing against Chandra Babu Nayaguru. I have nothing against them. My duty is yes, my duty is of custodian. So today I am going to promise you just one thing. Our government will be revolutionary. This government will stand as an example. Irojh Nuchi. Within six months to one year, I will make sure that this government will stand as exemplary to the country. And the revolutionary practices is possible. Corruption and it yet cannot be allowed to happen. This is one thing I am sure of. We will clean up the system. Marvel will be cleaning up the system. We will not only clean the system. we will show how the system has been cleaned i will show you this is the scam this is the same main lack point ante intaga toshko vade paristhiti undedi main unnam kabatti ee topadi ni aapagaligamu ani cheppi prati instance lo lot of modifications this goes we will bring in reverse tendering reverse reverse tendering ante let's go for reverse tendering ante స్కామ్ జరిగిన స్కామ్ పలాన చోట జరిగింది పలాన వర్క్ లో పలాన కాంట్రాక్ట్ లో జరిగింది అని అంటే వి విల్ ఇమీడియట్లీ ఐడెంటిఫై దట్ వర్క్ వి విల్ ఇమీడియట్లీ క్యాన్సిల్ దట్ వర్క్ వి విల్ ఇంక్రీస్ ద ప్రీ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ క్రైటీరియా సో దట్ మోర్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ కెన్ పార్టిసిపేట్ ఎక్కువ మంది దాంట్లో పార్టిసిపేట్ చేసే పరిస్థితి తీసుకొస్తాం తర్వాత విల్ గో ఫర్ రివర్స్ టెండరీ ఈ రేట్ కన్నా ఎవరు తక్కువ రేట్ కోట్ చేస్తారో వాళ్ళకి ఇస్తారంట సో దాట్ ఇఫ్ సమ్మడి కోట్స్ ట్వంటీ పర్సెంట్ లెస్ and i can say this is the scam because ycp is in power because vyasar congress party power no one can take away person we will be we will show everything will be transparent transparency level of marble stage in this stage in this stage this will go to rather you know you will detail the explain how we are going to do things how exactly are we going to be monitoring this transparency in the 
ఈ స్టేజ్ నుంచి ఇంకో స్టేజ్ లో చూసుకోండి
number one, you went, went and met the Prime Minister. Please introduce yourself. 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 Please introduce your
that someday, you know, things will change. And that someday, we will have a situation where it will become a reality. And today, I mean, the most important thing is why we are pressing it, for, why we are pressing it so hard. The reason why we are pressing it so hard is because you know, we have a situation where while the state was divided itself, everybody knew that you know this is the first time where a demanding state for bifurcation took away the capital. Never in the history of this country a situation like this took place where a state demanding bifurcation took the capital. This is the first time it so happened in the Islam Pradesh. And never is there a case where as a precondition for bifurcation the parliament approved uh, uh, special category status and then bifurcated the state. And never so it has ever happened in these situations that you have found the state like this. Where you know, our people, our, st our students, our youngsters who graduate, they have no place to go for a job. We cannot compete with Hyderabad, we cannot compete with Bangalore, we cannot compete with Chennai. So until and unless something special is given, until and unless you know, we have 100% IT exemption what actually comes with special category status, until and unless we have 100% GST what actually comes with special category status, only these kind of incentives would motivate somebody to come and set up hospitals, hotels, industry, IT, only then these kind of things would come. So this is very important for our, for our youngsters to actually uh, uh, to, to find a job. We, we, where do we go for jobs? But at the same time, these numbers uh, put the central government at a big advantage and depriving us of uh, the advantage what otherwise we would have expected from our government. Are you denying me? Are you denying me? Oh, I don't know. We'll That should be bridged. That's all what they spoke about. They have never spoken about 
abolition of special category status because it's not there for me. And as far as this particular incident, this particular special category status is concerned, on March 2nd, 2014, the then UPA government, after bifurcation, held a cabinet meet. And in that cabinet meet, they approved special category status. So basically, you know, a grant of special category status is that is an executive decision. Meaning, executive decision meaning it is the will of the it is the will of the prime minister, will of the cabinet to approve special category status. So on March 2nd, 2014, it was approved. The cabinet said, Andhra Pradesh should be given special category status, and the donations were also passed to planning commission. And the planning commission was present, was very much alive till 31st December 2014. Till 31st December 2014, planning commission was very much alive. It was only on 1st January 2015 that Niti Aayog came in. So the cabinet approved on 2nd March 2014 and the file was just left in planning commission for implementation for whole seven months. And unfortunately, our Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu did not bother about it. Had he gone to planning commission and pursued it then himself, it would have been a reality. We would have been talking about, we would be not have been talking about this issue. Since you have had a history with the Congress party, do you think the dynasty politics and Rahul Gandhi have to go with the Congress to survive? You will name Tanishri. Yeah, Tanishri. See, the problem is, see, as far as my meeting with Amit Shah Ji is concerned, is because today, the most powerful person in this country, at least a person who can help our state, be it with finances or be it with special category status or be it with anything, is the Prime Minister himself. So he is the Prime Minister and the Chief Minister. So I need to ask him, I need to request him, I need to do everything what I should be doing as the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh to persuade him to do the best what he can to the state of Andhra Pradesh. And as far as meeting Amit Shah is concerned, Amit Shah Ji is concerned, who is the number two man, who is the most powerful number two man in the country? Can I ask you straight? Tell me. You have already decided that. I did not say. You were saying it as well. As, you were saying it as well along with me. Everybody in this room, everybody in this room knows about it. So today the most, second most powerful man in this country is obviously of the party that is in power and that there is none other than uh, the party president Amit Shah. So, so me, meeting the, me meeting the second most powerful man in this country is also to make sure and also to request the second most man in this country to also persuade the first most, the first most powerful man in this country to help our Pradesh tie over the situation that we are in. You said you are disappointed with the... I don't like, I like my See, at this stage, it's not right on my part to comment on uh, Ahmad, uh, party that has lost. It's not right on, my, uh, right on my part to make any such comments. It's their internal decision, internal democracy, and the, whatever they deem fit as a party, they do, they do take their stand. And whatever decision they take, it affects their party, not my party. So I shouldn't be bothered about what decisions they take. If at all they want to take a decision, it only affects their party. So why should I be bothered about that? Sir, sir, you said you are disappointed with the numbers of the BJP, right? And did you say this to Modi also? Pointed out to him that, look, you are in a position of strength and I can't bargain with you much. Please help me. Did you say that? And did he point out to you your similar numbers, your numbers? In the state, yeah, far higher, far bigger, far bigger, far higher. Um, if you want to ask me where a full stop was put, where a comma was put, then it gets slightly difficult on my part to explain. 
what actually, uh, how the conversation went with full stops and cameras. But, uh, but you know, on the face of it, uh, we, had a, we had a healthy discussion, we had a positive discussion, and he was positive about the whole thing. And uh, it was one hour discussion, he, sp he spared one hour, he listened to us, he was positive about the whole thing, and he had, I could, I could see that he had something in his heart that he wanted to help Andhra Pradesh. He wanted to help our state. That was quite visible when I heard him, when I saw him. So the whole conversation went positive. But obviously, in one conversation, nobody says, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. Nobody would conclude that. So, so he was positive, so that's one positive step. That's a positive direction at least. And we don't stop meeting him now with just one meeting. Every time we go there, we still persuade him and say, Sir, please. Sir, please. And we need to just be keep pushing him. What else can we do? Till he yields. So what's the status on NDA? Are you, are you looking at joining NDA? That was my question if you did not stop. Why do they need any party to join, join them? And they themselves are 340 plus. So, so they don't need any of us or anybody to actually, uh, you know, to be joining them. Because that they themselves have the numbers. Unfortunately, that is what I've been saying. I pray to God so much that, you know, please Lord, God, don't give them that. Don't, don't, please don't give them beyond the duty. Sir, no, no. Can you I, 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 think, I think I think we just push with sir, one or two questions and after that I think we we'll might. You invited Sir. Sir. You invited PM Narendra Modi and Amit. Uh, sir. Or you are swearing his own. I'll answer that. Uh, sir. Uh, sir. Uh, from at Delhi. Uh, sir, uh, regarding your meeting with uh, KCR. Uh, and uh, Telangana dispute. What is the because you have met him uh, before meeting PM and also. So, how do you see this? Uh, do you, do you, are, how often are you regarding the entire meeting that happened between you? See, there are two different subjects. Me meeting KCR Garu is a separate subject. Me meeting Narayana Mohanji Garu is a separate subject. Both of them to two, two different subjects. See, me, as far as my meeting with KCI Garu is concerned, both of us speak the same language. And it's very important that, you know, we share a cordial relationship, we share a good relationship between us. You know, we combinedly can voice, voice out for the needs of each other. And in fact, he was, uh, uh, he was, you know, uh, uh, he moved one step further and he said, much before these elections itself, he said that he is willing to support special category status also. Even that particular issue of Andhra Pradesh also, he was vocal in saying. So that being the case, you know, he's moved for him, he's moved a couple of steps in our favor. So my meeting case here was to invite him uh, for, for, for my swearing in ceremony, so that shares, uh, st so that states can actually work together for a better cause. And as far as uh, meeting uh, uh, Narendra Modi Jigaru and also asking him uh, uh, to come for to, to come uh, to come for my swearing in seven years is concerned as raised by one of the uh, uh, journalists here. I don't know your name. Neeraj. 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 As, that, uh, as, far as, as far as that issue is concerned, yes, I also did invite uh, Modi Jigaru also to uh, come and uh, Bless the state of Andhra Pradesh with his presence um, uh, with uh, special category status, of course. Um, of course. But, uh, but, you know, but unfortunately, I think he, they themselves have got a swearing in ceremony of their own. Uh, uh, so they own, and uh, I guess uh, I don't know. Uh, but I don't know whether they would come or not. But uh, I did uh, ask both of them that, you know, uh, Please come over and please bless the state of Andhra Pradesh. We need your support. And uh, when, somebody, when somebody like that would be convinced to come, 
and the big announcement on the CS, if it could be made, it would have been wonderful. And, uh, I don't know whether it would happen or not. Anyway, I think, uh,